Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Mental Health and Makeup with Mandy. So I finally got my camera fixed and we're talking today about the Jeffree Star liquid eyeshadows. Now I did not get the, um, I got two. I got the Behind the Veil and I got the hell does that say? What? Toss my bouquet. Okay. So these are the two that I picked up. A matte and a shimmer. The lightest shimmer that they had. Um, lots of thoughts. Lots of thoughts. I've been trying them for a few days. If you are on my TikTok, you probably saw or my Instagram, you probably saw um, me swatch these. I haven't fixed my hair yet, done my eyebrows, nothing. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this eyeshadow. I love, I think I am in love with the matte. And the reason that I got this color is because I thought it would go with a lot of special shadows. So I have um, a pretty large collection of multi-chromes, liquid eyeshadows, um, glitters, all those kind of things. And when I am doing a look with those, I like to have um, a transition shade in the background. So this... Um, is that shade on me. It's the perfect matte um, for a transition for all of these special shadows that I love to use. This one, very, very, very glittery, um, but you cannot swipe this. If you swipe it, it goes away. You do have to tap this on. You can tap it on with a brush or you can tap it on with the applicator. Um, do I like it? Yes. Will I use it? Yes. Um, is it my favorite liquid eyeshadow? No, it's, it's not. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my arm. You can see it if I do that. Okay. So these are swatches of all of my liquid eyeshadows. I'm going to insert a picture, I think. Um, so we're going to do some comparison um, between different brands and their liquid eyeshadows and how they stack up against um, the Jeffree Star liquid eyeshadow. So, so let's talk first about this matte liquid eyeshadow. Oh, and by the way, the reason that I have this terrible rash on my hands is that I ate a candy that has wheat in it, and I have severe celiac disease and um, a wheat allergy all at the same time, and so it was all bad <laughs> when I ate the wheat. I swelled all up and got this lovely little rash just on my hands. It didn't spread anywhere else because I caught it in time. I was like, what did I do? Anyway. Anyway. Okay. So, his liquid matte eyeshadows. This color, I thought, would be a perfect transition color for not just liquid lips or liquid uh, eyeshadows, but for um, his diamond shadows. They're not called diamond shadows. What are they called? What are they called? What are you called? Mood. We're going to start our comparisons with the matte shadow. The only other matte shadow, you can see it in this picture, up by my wrist, the, the one at the top is this Too Faced. And the one right below it is um, is Jeffree Star's. This one is a little lighter and it's thinner. And that's actually a really good thing because it allows it to be blendable. The problem that I had with this um, 
Too Faced one is that it didn't blend down as well. This literally blends down to where it looks almost airbrushed. It's gorgeous. So I, I can't recommend the matte enough. So the other one I had to compare it to was really awful. So keep that in mind. Like it might, <laughs> might just be that I was comparing it to a really bad one. <laughs> okay. So um, next up, I swatched this Stila. I was looking at the um, consistency and the glitter. And I, I will say that the black, I might not even have enough of it in there. This is one of my oldest liquid eyeshadows. It's probably technically not safe to use. <laughs> I got it at, um, uh, where was I? Marshalls maybe? Um, and it's the same, you dab it on. But if you can see, there's much more glitter in the black uh, with the silver on top. There's much more glitter. This one kind of has that chrome effect. So I, I, I hope that he does some things more glittery than these ones are um, because they, they turn out to be glittery but a little more chrome. Um, it is gorgeous, and I think that had I had this on my wedding day, I would have used these. I have heard some things about the palette um, not being the same formula, and a lot of people are saying it's no, he's no good, <laughs> but we'll see. So as far as how it stacks up to Stila, I love the shimmer factor a little bit more on the Stila formula, but I think these seem to dry out rather fast, so we don't know. This this might do the same thing, hopefully not. Um, I'm going to have to check the picture to see what's next. Hold on. Okay, so <clears throat> next up is a an eyeshadow from Ciate London, I believe. Yes. It's called Eye Luster is what it is. And uh, it's in the shade Cupid. So this is a pink. And this is the Jeffree Star one on top. So we see how similar these are. I believe that this is the formula that Jeffree's is the most similar to. And you'll see that in the upcoming swatches. I was like, this is stupid. I keep having to pause the video. So I have them all arranged in the order that I was doing for, um, for the picture. So each time Jeffree Stars is going to be on the top part of my hand. And the one we're comparing to will be underneath. So this one is also similar, and I think it's a close second to the Ciate, and I actually, <laughs> I hate saying this, but I think I like this more than the Jeffree Star one. This is from LA Girl. This is their liquid eyeshadow called Dream Glitter, and if you look at it, it is dream glitter all over the place. Now, in my personal opinion, I get why this one is for the wedding collection because it has gold in it and that looks gorgeous. Like, okay, so for a wedding, I might do a really beautiful neutral uh, look with um, this, this or this for a spotlight, but this, because of the gold reflecting. I happen to like the cooler um, blue pink shift that this one has. I think it's gorgeous um, and I'm a huge fan of this formula. Next up is going to be from Lurella. 
And this was actually a free gift because I had bought so many Lorella palettes. That was at Christmas time when I was doing all those giveaways. Um, <clears throat> so this is the comparison with Lorella and the difference between Lorella and the Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is more chromey um, and the Lorella is more glittery. Both of these would be beautiful on your wedding day. And what I was trying to say about this on your wedding day is, a, I think they call it the spotlight, where the, the um, middle is light and sparkly. So, um, I love this formula um, as well. I think I love this formula a little better than the LA Glitter. Up next, we're going to go in with some Huda Beauty, and this is one of their little sticks, and I forgot, I do have the matte shadow, this, this mint shadow, and I had forgotten, I got this from BoxyCharm, I forgot all about it. <sighs> one of these days, I might join back up with BoxyCharm, we'll see. Oh, and because I already had glitter on my finger, it got glittery. But um, I do have that uh, shadow as well, which I think is along the same quality as um, the Jeffree Star matte. Okay, so the other side of this is metallic. It's a metallic mint green. And so it's really not going to be a whole lot like the Jeffree Star one. This is um, a straight metallic formula. It has no glitter. I do kind of like the opacity that you can get to with the Huda Beauty. And it does come out really pretty um, depending on how you do it. I I like the sparkles of the Jeffree Star one better. And I think the chrome is shinier on top. You see how the, how the Jeffree Star one just kind of lights up compared to... The bottom one does too. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. But I, I, I prefer Jeffree's on that one. The next one in the picture is Jeffrey's. Wait, did I do that right? Or was Jeffrey's earlier? I don't know. If I skipped one, that was Jeffrey's. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Maybe I'll need to put some little arrows in the <laughs> in the video. In the picture, I mean. This is the video. Durr. This is House Labs, okay? This is the first round of House Labs. Um, this is the packaging on that. I guess I should have shown you guys the packaging on, I think I did, maybe I did. Whatever. I've had some um, medical relief this evening and <laughs> so I might not be all there. Close though. So this is the House Labs that I got um, through BoxyCharm. I miss BoxyCharm. Still get really good things through Ipsy. You'll have to let me know down below if you guys care about my Ipsy unboxings anymore. Okay, so the House Labs one is kind of similar to the Huda Beauty. Um, it's more metallic-y. And the color on this is called Glam Attack. Um, and it's really beautiful. I think that it would go so beautifully with, um, with Toss the Bouquet. That and this House Labs, um, Glam Attack. So if you have that, this would be really good with it. Just saying. Just saying. Let's see what we have next. Ooh, Next is Dominique Cosmetics. <clears throat> I bought this duochrome green from Dominique Cosmetics. This is very close to being um, absolutely done with life. I think I want to use it 
soon <laughs> because it's it's almost done. It has this beautiful lilac shift to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And that would look fantastic with with that toss the bouquet as well. And that the true um, multi-chrome of the Dominique Cosmetics one can show you the difference. Uh, this is definitely a lot more sheer. It has a lot more sparkle. Um, but the duochrome of the Dominique one is just fabulous. You have to put a very thin layer of that Dominique Cosmetics one. By the way, um, it's just my tank top that's, it's got like floral designs on it. Okay, let's clean my hand off for the hundredth time. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys like these comparisons. I might be able to do some uh, other comparisons with Jeffree Star products or whatever you'd like me to do. Okay, um, up next, oh my gosh, so I have this one on my, I have painted this one on as eyeliner. This is from e.l.f. This is a discontinued shade. I don't know why because it's absolutely friggin' gorgeous. Um, I like to use it as a liner because I love that cobalt blue. Um, it's a more dry formula and it really, it has sparkle in it, but not a lot. I like it definitely more as a liner, but it's a gorgeous liner. You see the difference in opacity and shine. And so that's why I like to use it as liner. It looks gorgeous as liner. Um... <clears throat> up next we have what is possibly my favorite liquid eyeshadow of all time and a lot of other people's Kitten Karma by Stila um, this was a color rose gold and um, and those kind of shades were my staple I wore them all the time if it was pink and gold, pink and silver, um, pink all by itself, um, neutral and pink was my whole existence, basically. <laughs> and usually blue, like cobalt blue, kind of like what I've got on today was kind of the way that I used to do things. I don't know. But anyway... So let's compare Jeffree Star to the Kitten Karma and we'll see who wins. Let's see. Okay, so. They both have that gorgeous shimmer shine, lots of glitter, lots of gorgeousness. I don't think I can choose. You guys are going to have to choose for me. Which one's prettier, Kitten Karma by Stila or what's the damn name of this? Behind the Veil from Jeffree Star. Okay, up next, and I really love this freaking shadow. Um, I really love this freaking shadow. I can't say this enough. The color of it is amazeballs. I should wear this way more often um, so that it doesn't go bad. This is from Tarte. And I used to have such a thing for Tarte. We're going to buy some holiday from Tarte. And y'all are going to see my love for Tarte. I really do love it. Um, neutral Queens over at Tarte. They really know what they're doing with their neutrals. Just saying. 
And I think their formula is always very nice. Okay, look at the gorgeousness. This is from Tarte, and I think it's called Mermaid something or another. I'm going to have to blend it just a little bit because it was... I couldn't get the little things to blend out without patting on it, but this is called Sea Glass by Tarte, and this is Life's a Beach, and oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. I should wear that more often. And, um... <clears throat> Liquid eyeshadows and special shades, duo chromes, all of that is very big right now along with um, neutral makeup. So it's really good for those of us who have a collection of stuff like that because then, then you're just, um, you know, able to get a palette here and there. So the last one is from House Labs, again, and this is this beautiful emerald green. Ugh, beautiful, beautiful. This is gonna be really amazeballs at Christmas time. We can make lots of cool stuff with this guy. Love a hunter green anyway. Don't you love a hunter green? And it's like very nice and metallic-y. It's got tiny, tiny, tiny gold glitter in it. And it's just gorgeous. As far as thickness goes, um, it's one of those that you're able to sweep on and then just barely pat a little bit and it's set. Um, it... It's nice and shiny, nice and metallic-y, and you can see the little pieces of gold glitter in it. It's just beautiful. Um, as far as the really opaque ones, I like to use those mostly as liners. The formula on these are a lot thinner than the formula on the ones that hold all the micro glitter because it has to be <clears throat> a little bit thicker to be able to hold that stuff. So. That is me comparing Jeffree Star's liquid eyeshadow to all the liquid eyeshadows I own. And so, this is the end of the video where I humbly beg you all to come back <laughs> and watch another video. And if you like this, video, then hit the like button and show your support for your girl. And, and, um, news is to come about this fabulous over 40 competition, um, that I am, um, selected for through, it's like an Instagram thing. So, some of you already saw my TikTok or on my Instagram about this. I didn't realize the voting doesn't start until September the 19th, which is coming up in just a few days. And um, at that point, I will be making videos and TikToks and all kinds of things asking people to vote for me in Fabulous Over 40. You can go to my profile and look at what I think that it means to be fabulous at 40. And maybe you'll find that you like my channel enough to stick around and subscribe. I really hope so. You know, take a chance on a small creator and see what we can come up with. And, um, you know, maybe I'm even fabulous over 40. Who knows? All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye.